Long-distance shipping companies have to contend with all sorts of international challenges, from pirates to war zones. In Transatlantic Financing Corporation versus United States, the court considered what effect an abrupt change to the intended route caused by war in the Suez Canal had on the shipping contract. In 1956, Transatlantic Financing Corporation entered into a contract with the United States to transport a cargo of wheat by ship from Galveston, Texas to Bandar Shapur, Iran. It planned to sail by the shortest route through Gibraltar and the Suez Canal. The planned route would be approximately 10,000 miles. After the ship had left Galveston, war broke out in the canal zone and Egypt closed the canal. Transatlantic ship had to change course and sail all the way around Africa. The voyage ended up being 13,000 miles and it cost about $44,000 more than Transatlantic originally anticipated. Transatlantic sued the United States in federal district court, demanding the extra costs incurred during the longer route. Transatlantic claimed that its contract with the United States assumed that the ship would sail by the usual and customary route, which in this case was the Suez Canal. When the Suez Canal was closed, the contract became impossible to perform as written. By taking a longer route to deliver the cargo, Transatlantic argued it conferred a benefit on the United States. It reasoned that it should be paid for this benefit in quantum merowit, a remedy under which the provider of services is compensated for the value of those services. The trial court dismissed the case. Transatlantic appealed to the United States Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit.